offend anybody, but uh, if I do, I want to apologize before I say it. Uh, when I was a boy, growing up in South Richmond in a segregated school, uh, there was a saying around that school, if you're white, you're right. If you're brown, you can stick around. If you're black, get back. And I mean way back. Uh, it was that. Uh, and I am proud uh, that we have come from that position. We have come a long way. And I'm thankful uh, for them. It's not where you come from. It's where you are and where you intend to go. And so it is that uh, King came from a minority group. He may not, and, and some of you, or some of us, may not have come from uh, what we think of as great and outstanding and well-known people. But it's not where you come from. You come from a background that will give you something uh, to move on in. Let me go on and say, uh, he came, if you go back to the Bible verses that we read, it said that John came in the wilderness in the fullness uh, of time. Uh, that means uh, that somehow uh, it was not too early and it is not too late. And so we are where we are in the fullness of time. As a matter of fact, I'm glad to be who I am, when I am, and what I am, while I am. Right. I don't want uh, to be anybody else. As a matter of fact, let me go so far as to say that I don't wish that I was any taller than I am. I don't wish that I was any shorter than I am. I don't wish that I was any tighter than I am. I don't wish that I was any skinnier than I am. I don't wish that I was any lighter than I am. I don't wish that I was any blacker than I am. I just am glad that I am who I am, when I am. And so it is. In the fullness of time, we ought to thank and be grateful uh, that we have come. And so it is that Caleb, King didn't come early. King didn't come late. He came in the fullness uh, of time. Uh, and I believe uh, that we are here in the fullness of time. It is not just a matter of celebrating uh, King's birthday. But we are left to carry on and make steps even beyond where he came in that day and time. Uh, I want to tell you a little story that perhaps you have uh, heard before. But it is about a boy who lived in the country. And by the way, uh, in the farmland, and so and he would go and work with his father on the farm. And uh, he liked cabbage. Does anybody here like cabbage? <laughs> All right, I'm glad you do. Because the whole matter of uh, cabbage can be good and they can be bad is uh, whether the person who cooks them knows how to cook them. <laughs> uh, and so uh, the boy uh, said, uh, I like cabbage. And so he worked on the uh, farm that morning, and when lunchtime came, he came home and went in the house. Uh, and he said, uh, I'm ready now for some cabbage for lunch. But his mother said, cabbage are not ready. Uh, that's for dinner. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm fixing the cabbage for dinner. And what you have to do is I'll just give you some bread and you uh, bite a couple of pieces of bread and go on back out in the field. And so what the boy did was that uh, he took his bread uh, and he held it over the pot where the cabbage was boiling. Uh, he came on back with his bread in his hand and his father had said, uh, did you have your lunch? He said, yeah, I have my lunch right here in my hand. 
And the father said, what do you have in your hand that you're having for lunch? Uh, and the, the boy said, uh, I have cabbage. And the father said, I don't see any cabbage. Uh, but the boy held the cabbage up. It had been over the, the, the stove where the cabbage had been. And he said, oh, that's like faith. Well, you smell is the substance of things so far and the evidence of things not seen. I wonder, uh, you see, where I'm trying to go. And that is that uh, we may not have what we want and we may not have uh, be where we are going. But already we have the, we have smelled the cabbage and we have the substance of things so far. And we're going to move on. Uh, get a dip. <laughs>